boards to fold your fabric onto. Um, there were lots, there were a variety of different options. Some, uh, depending on how many boards or the type of boards, might cost several hundred dollars. And since I have a considerable amount of fabric in the sewing room, I was trying to go for something more economical. So I uh, picked up these comic book boards. They measure seven inches by ten and a half inches, and each pack comes with a hundred. So I thought um, this is about my price point. Uh, this sounds good to me. So. I pulled out one of the boards and I'm going to step over to the side camera and show you the folding process that I use. And you can use uh, different amounts of fabric for the folding. I'm going to show you a fat quarter and also a yard and you can definitely fold multiple yards. I think up to six, six to eight yards on one board. So it's pretty handy to have in the sewing room. So I'll, I'll see you over on the side camera. Okay, so here's, here's the board. One side shiny. It's a, a rather sturdy cardboard. The other side is matte. Um, these are acid free so they won't ever discolor your fabrics over time. I think I might have Danny perhaps zoom out a little bit. Um, I've got my fat quarter here so I'm going to show you how to fold the fat quarter and get it onto the board first and then I'll show you with the yard. So um, with the fat quarter first I'm going to fold it selvage to selvage. I did iron these fabrics before the show. I practiced with uh, not ironing them and I preferred the look of them on the boards uh, ironing them first so that's what I did um, so I'm going to fold the fabric halfway about halfway up the board and then fold it again you can either just go ahead and put this on your sewing room shelf or I found these plastic alligator clips which I think I've seen th these in the past for like when you purchase a dress shirt or something like that it comes uh, with the clips on it already so I'm just going to go ahead and place two of these clips on here. Other options for attaching the fabric um, so that it won't unravel while it's on your um, shelf is uh, I was a little concerned about using pins or metal clips just because there's a potential over time especially if you live in a humid climate of those rusting over time but I felt pretty comfortable with the plastic clips and I think it looks pretty nice and it's definitely very thin and um, can place that on your shelf and then easily see the little bit of fabric peeking out. So that was the fat quarter. I'm going to show you the, the one yard cut now. All right, so as I mentioned, I did iron this before the show. Um, I'm going to go ahead and first fold this in half so that the selvages meet. And the selvage just means the, the printed end or the end with uh, a finishing, not the, the cut edge. So the selvage is the opposite of the cut edge. Okay, so I'm going to fold it in half so the selvages meet, and then I'm going to fold it one more time so that the folded end meets the selvage. Okay. All right, so I'm going to fold it one more time. The cut edges will be meeting this time. And then I'm going to go ahead and place my board over here. Again, just like with the fat quarter, I'm going to fold it so that the fabric covers half the board. And then fold it one more time, and then you can either, again, like I mentioned before, place this on your shelf as is or use some sort of clips or pins to hold the fabric layers in place. So definitely looks really neat. I got a little um, anxious at the thought of, because I liked how it looked with the, the fabric ironed first, I got a little anxious fold at the thought of ironing all my fabric and then putting it on the boards, but I thought maybe I'll just start slow. When I, when I purchase new fabric, I'll start with that new habit of ironing it and placing it on the boards, and then whenever I'm bored, maybe I'll iron 10 pieces of fabric and place it on boards. Definitely takes up a lot less space than just being randomly folded on my shelves, and I think it looks pretty nice and neat. So again, um, that was the comic book boards. Um, definitely can fold multiple sizes of fabric cuts from the fat quarter up until um, six or even eight yards. So I thought this was um, really fun. As you can see, it's very slim and and I like that um, I can possibly purchase more fabric if I fold it really nicely and I can free up some room. <laughs> um, so I have a question for you. Let me know in the comments. Uh, do you fold your fabric in a particular way? So let me know in the comments. What I was doing previously is I got out my quilting ruler. Um, I measured a certain width of fabric that I wanted. I think it was seven inches. So I was folding all of my fabric seven inches wide. Uh, the widths varied a little bit, and I did the best that I could getting it on the shelf. So that's what I did uh, with this particular 
uh, sewing room uh, stash. That's how I folded that. Um, I noticed that I've been a little bit lazy getting some of the fabric back on the shelf. For instance, if I take it off to see if it'll work for, t for a particular bag, I change my mind about the fabric when I put it back on the shelf. I'm not very careful about putting it back on there. I think I could definitely save a lot of room if my fabric is folded on these boards. It would be a lot easier pulling it off the shelf and then getting it back on in the same condi condition. But um, like I said, I'll slowly but surely work through refolding my fabric on the boards um, a little, little by little.